I'm ready. There's no waxing in this. I'm almost terrified. That's the ultimate trap. As you walk into the room, all of a sudden, (laughs) paper sticks to your arm hair. What do you do? (laughs) And somebody tears it off fast, and you go, ah! <laughs> Hello there, adventurers, right. and welcome to Wally DM. Today we have another YouTube roundtable discussion, and this time we are going to do improv traps in two minutes. So, joining me on this adventure is Steely Sam, Fred from Hot to D&D, and No Fun Allowed. So, if you are unfamiliar with this, we've done a few videos like this in the past, and we really like doing these, so it'll be a lot of fun. Rules for their game is I'm going to roll these Rory Story Cubes and after they are rolled, we're going to take two minutes and we are going to create a trap using at least three of the Story Cubes. Now our trap needs to consist of an item or an object, a trigger for the trap, and an effect. So is everyone ready for this improv game to create a trap? Heck yeah! All Let's do right. it. Okay, so let me give the dice a roll. Okay, and we have, it looks like dinner over a campfire. We have a mug of beer, a question mark, a parachutist, and you can interpret that how you want. So maybe like a feather fall or maybe some type of falling, whatever you'd like. A castle, a turtle, a tree, a moon, and a footprint. So we are going to use our two minutes to create our traps. And while we're doing that, be sure to play at home, get your traps ready and post them in the comments. And when you're all done, make sure you hit play to resume resume the video and we'll let you know what we come up with. All right, we will see you in a few minutes. All right, so welcome back, and I hope you had plenty of time to be able to get your traps ready. Again, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to take a look at them. But now, as far as our results, I will go ahead and lead us off with the trap that I constructed. And the cubes that I use, I'm going to start with the with the moon. And what has happened here is our adventurers have been sent to find a tree that has that grows this magical fruit if you if if you will and they need one of these for something to cure something or another disease or something like that but anyway this tree only appears in an orchard at night so i'm going to have the tree and the moon and once the adventurers go there they find this meadow they find this tree that's in the middle of this orchard i'm going to allow them to make a perception check and on a perception of 15 they're going to notice two things one is they're going to notice that the ground looks like it has a um, some indentations if you will and they're also going to see a turtle that is just circling the tree now if the adventurers grab the turtle they're going to notice that it is a mechanical turtle and that's going to explode in a 20 foot radius of sleeping gas. Now, for those that decided to look at the indentations in the ground, those allow them a uh, DC 12 survival check and they will notice that those are actually giant footprints. So my entire trap is a hill giant has this mechanical turtle that he likes to set out there at at night. And when adventurers come by and they find the turtle, it'll just And I would probably even put like a slow spell. So if you if you don't fall asleep, you're at least going to be slowed by the turtle. And then it comes through, walks in and just plucks a few of them for its dinner. Cool. And that's all I got on that. So um, what about you, Sam? What'd you come up with? What's your improv trap? <laughs> all right. So I used the the gate. Okay. That will be that will be the location. So the party is crossing this drawbridge and mugs are hanging from from line hidden that need a perception check to notice. Otherwise, they will trigger the trap. The rattling of the mugs will tr- trigger the trap, at which point turtles, lichen turtles, will fall from the top of the of the gate and attack the party. Lichen turtles, I love it. Lichen turtles. <laughs> hey, li- lichen turtles have a high AC. You gotta watch out for those guys. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. Well done. 
What about you, Fred? What'd you come up with? I feel like Steely has stolen my idea. You but, came up with um, lichen turtles did too? You have lichen turtles? <laughs> no, 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 no. Similar, but not quite exactly the same. Okay, so I went with the first one is the, the drawbridge or castle. So there is a castle in the clouds and the drawbridge is trapped. Kind of obvious in this case because, gosh, drawbridge, it's like the perfect place to put a trap, right? Absolutely. And it's up high in the clouds so the trigger for this trap is standing on the drawbridge and you get asked a question or a riddle uh, from either a sphinx or a very confusing um uh, clown I, I don't know why i picked a clown it just it, 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 it but there's a riddle that you have to answer now the trigger is stepping on the bridge and answering the riddle incorrectly I was tempted to go with answering the, the riddle incorrectly and making it a really, really easy um, riddle, but then I realized that's kind of really dicky, so I won't do that. So it's you have to get the riddle right rather than wrong. It's too confusing for people, right? So I've used the question mark and the foot for my trigger, and then the effect of the trap is the uh, the, the drawbridge, uh, it just, it's gonna just disappear, and then you will fall, which is the parachute, and there's a magical parachute that appears and allows you to descend very, very slowly. And then it breaks because it's been made somewhere and manufactured in, in, in incorrectly. And then you descend at um, uh, fatal um, terminal, um, um, is it terminal velocity, yeah, terminal velocity into a forest, which is why I've used the tree. Very tall tree so that it's really painful as you land. land. You, each branch is going to be very, very painful. And then you finally get to the bottom of um, the, the forest. On the forest floor, it is going to be completely covered in savage killer turtles that will eat you alive. <laughs> as always with all of my traps, I don't recommend using any of them, including this one. Um, I've decided my killer turtles are like 20th level and the size of, uh, like a whale. So, and there's like hundreds of them. So there's no hope. No hope at all. That's amazing, <laughs> right. man. You went for a lot of cubes there. That was great. <laughs> he almost got them all. So if you change that to the party falls into like a cauldron of turtle soup, I think you'd hit all the dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, No Fun? What did you come up with? Alrighty, mine was to follow in her footsteps. So, your players are on the trail for a moon goddess's hoard, treasure hoard, and doing so, they lead. They're led to a glade, and in this glade is a continuous set of doors. And these doors essentially represent aspects of her life and this, the decisions that she's made. So as your players follow in her footsteps, they have to go in through the correct doors. If they're at the entirety of the campaign or before this, they should have learned about all the aspects of her. And if they know her correctly, then boom, they just go right through. But if they do not correctly surmise exactly what she did, then an aspect of the moon is going to fall down from the sky and plummet on top of their faces, and they're going to take a whole bunch of moon damage. <laughs> moon damage. <laughs> I like that, man. I really like the uh, the follow in the footsteps part. That that was that's a, a good way to use these cubes for a trap. That's for sure. Because I mean, you're walking somewhere and you see footsteps. I mean, you're going to follow them. I mean, who would not follow exactly? Them? Be like, uh, there. Yeah, there's some footsteps here. Like, yeah, we're not going that way because yeah. we'll run into one of Fred's traps. We ain't doing it. <laughs> You'll run into that sea of 100 whale turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, I like them all. G great job, everyone. Okay, so those are the traps that we came up with and looking forward to see what you came up with using Rory's Story Cubes. And a big thanks to my YouTube friends for joining me today. Steely Sam, where can they find you at? I'm Steely Sam, and I'm on YouTube. And Fred? Hi, I'm Fred Wheeler. Uh, you can find me on House of D&D YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And No Fun Allowed. I'm No Fun Allowed on YouTube. Don't click on the Minecraft video. Click on the D&D one. Fantastic. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and on to the next.